Hey guys, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. It is the last car boot haul of the year 2020. What a year it's been. Let's not have another year like that. Thank you very much. I have got a £20 car boot haul for you. I went at 10 o'clock today, quite later, but it seems slightly better and more to my advantage. Um, the house clearance guy, Steve, had uh, free stuff on the floor. The fill bag stuff was all free today. Obviously, it's been picked through for like three hours, so not a lot of good stuff there. But then everything on his table, the good stuff, was one pound. So I picked up 20 items. And then there was another sort of housey clearance person giving away everything for free as well. So I kind of got two lots of free stuff and 20 pounds worth of 20 items. So let's have a good old rummage. To start with, I think the best item today, this. This is, uh, people call it different things, onyx, marble, abalone, white, heavy stone. It's very heavy. It needs to be rewired. Um, I was going to do it myself, but after having a little look, I think it's safer if I just pay an electrician to just wire it for me. There's some in my family. But it's a very nice, carved, textured kind of look. Um, but yeah. Give that a good clean up. I think that would be really, really nice. Um, I don't know. I paid a pound. Possibly 25 to 50. I don't really know. I I mean, I can sell two little bud vases for 25 pounds. This has got to be worth more than that. So I've got high hopes for this. Just depends if I can get it rewired. Um, which hopefully I can. Some black fabric to go into a scrap fabric bundle. I've almost got enough for a bundle i just wanted a few more so i grabbed this load of black it's a big big sheet of it uh so for a pound i got an old car stein so lots of little old cars no idea on value again all the values i research when i'm editing afterwards and then i always put them here and any extra information that i might have missed or if i've described something wrong or i found the maker of it i just put it here it's easier to do that way than to go and research now um so yeah little stein with old cars a bud vase i thought i just felt a chip a bud vase sorry a vase <laughs> a pressed glass yeah this is pressed glass no markings or anything but then no damage a nice sort of textured tubular shape pound this which on carla's live this morning we worked out is a base of a light fitting or something a light and um, there's supposed to be a dome on top i don't have that the base should sell hopefully as well um, and it is a uh, royal worcester 1961 so yeah not bad hopefully i can sell that as a replacement i got an adventure time hat this was free from the free stuff um i think adventure time is still popular hopefully i'll get about a tenner for that hoping got this for a pound one of those little table caddy things um yeah nice little bottles of a texture size that one is i believe sugar vinegar salt and pepper the lids have worn quite a bit or they've oxidized so I'll just make sure i mention that in the listing yeah the inside of that one is uh pretty manky so i may just sell them as a decorative piece but i'm sure whoever buys them will know what to do with them um they could be silver plated i haven't given it a really detailed look yet i kind of just grabbed it um but yeah i just thought that was quite sweet and for a pound i can't say no there's a little bit of damage to the handle here but not not bad for a quid is it uh this was in the free stuff two molds metal molds I had some of these but in rabbit shapes and they sold really quickly and I think I sold three of them for 20 odd quid. So two domes, maybe 10 to 15. I'm hoping that they have some value. Uh, they don't really make stuff like this anymore. For one pound, a little hand carved vase, vase with a weird top. I didn't know what it was at first and I thought, oh, it's a vase. It's just hand carved and it's got a weird little opening. Wooden vases like this, I, I sell for about 15-ish, 10 to 15. I've sold a few now, but generally generally they're marked with something on the bottom to say what wood it is. I got this for a pound. Um, 
looks just like a little raised bonbon dish kind of thing. That uh, is also pressed glass. Uh, this is quite nice. I think I'll do well with this. It's a cast iron doorstop and it's a little orange tree. And that was a pound. I think it's a little decor, you know, cottage maybe kind of vibe to it. I think that'd be quite a nice piece. Um, it's only a half and there's no um, thing to go under a door. So it, I think it's more of a, like an open door thing. But yeah, I liked it. For a quid, you can't really turn up a really nice heavy duty thing like this. Obviously, a bit of wear to the orange uh, there, uh, but it's not the end of the world. It's just a nice used piece, isn't it? Really, I've got one of these, a vase, but it's got the same floral pattern as just note. <laughs> I was just looking and. There's a teapot like that hanging off the end of the bookshelf. So, like, this bit here is open void, like it's going to go off the shelf. Let me just go and move that. So I've just got one of the cups to show you. This, if you remember, I picked this sort of decanter up with these little cups with the painted flower on. That is pretty much the same. So there's got to be a designer or an artist somewhere that's doing this, and I just haven't worked out who it is yet. Gonna have to do more research, aren't I? It looks like. Um, but yeah, really quite nice. Maybe 20-ish pounds. Or, um, I got this little woman because she just made me laugh. I think she's haunted. I don't know. She just, she just seems a little bit haunted. Anyone else think she seems a bit creepy with a weird hat? I don't know. She lived with me for a little while. She lived up there. I've got this for a pound. Oh, the lady was free. The vase was a pound. <laughs> I got this for a pound. It's quite worn and tarnished, but I, I don't know. It's uh, possibly brass, but I mean, it is quite worn. It was a pound. Steve said he sold a few for a fiver. I mean, it's quite heavy. If it's brass or it's something else, it might be worth that in scrap. A cigarette or cigar ashtray kind of thing. Obviously, it's quite worn. Maybe I try for a tenner. We'll see. I got a very nice, I think it's a tourist piece. Uh, brass. I'm actually, I don't, I don't know if it's brass. Could be brass. It's quite a. It's not copper. I say it's brass. Um, sort of. Uh, Dimacine. Dimacine. I think, is that what we're calling this? Pattern? Etched in? Uh, I got this guy for a pound just because I liked him. I've sold some wooden animals before. Tall giraffe. Uh, I got two of these. I've just noticed there's a little bit of damage to the edge of that one, but it's not too bad. Uh, pressed glass, like banana boat kind of nibbled glasses. They're not overly big. But I can just imagine these on a table with some nibbles in, you know? So, yeah. Two pound, obviously a pound each. So maybe 15 for the pair. You know me and my studio pottery. Um, I've got a little studio egg cup for a pound. So Steve picked this up and said, Josh, is this any good to you? Well, first he called me Kevin. I think he called me Kevin. I mean, that's not your name. No, it's not my name. A massive, great, big... Oh, there's a name for these. Cornucopia kind of thing. It's massive. I'm going to have to probably Facebook Marketplace this. Um, it's made by... Darting... Uh, Dartmouth. 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 Devon. England massive a pound that cost me um no it's definitely like pottery just sounds interesting um i might try for like five or ten on the facebook marketplace i don't really want to ship this but we'll see i do have a big box i could ship it in i might try for 25 and ship it if if it sells i got a uh, i think these are called a 
barometer, I think. Um, for a pound. Is there a barometer? 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 I don't really know how they work. Um, because <laughs> the weights have numbers on them. So 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. But they don't really do anything. I, I think, are they supposed to drop with the temperature? If you warm it up? I don't know. Not too sure, but I got one in for a pound. Uh, this was free from the first house clearance people. It's stamped TV. Uh, it's just a nice studio mug. I sell these for about £12 usually. Um, they do sell quite fast. I'd say within a few weeks they will sell. And this one's quite a nice standard design. There's not a lot to it. It's quite unique. I'll say £12 for that one. Easily £12. And then for a pound each, a matching pair of these um, heavy based ball single stem bud vases. I'm going to sell these as a pair. They came as a pair. I'll sell them as a pair. I think they're the same height. Uh, pretty much. Pretty much the same height. I'll sell them as a pair for maybe 19 99 They go for about £6 on their own otherwise. I really don't need any more ties, but it was free. So I kind of did grab a big bundle of ties. Haven't looked through them. Um, these just go in like a big tie bundle that I'm planning on doing next year. But I will have a look. They do stink of cigarettes. There's a Pierre Cardam on there, which I think might be a good brand. Um, Morgan and Ball. It's just a load of random names. But yeah, they need a, a wash. That one's stained. That's a uh, Monroe Spun. But yeah, I need to look into them. Some might be good, some might be bad. But yeah, just a big bundle of ties for free. I got this because it reminds me of um, a glass maker that does the twisted glass. It's just a bud, single stem. Not single stem, just a bud vase. For seven quid, maybe. And finally, um, I've mentioned a few times, I do make little bundles of little side plates, dishes, arts and crafts. I've got an extra one to go in it. Just a nice little Victorian, I assume, lady on a swing. Quite a nice little dish. Uh, and the maker is Jambo, made in Spain. So sometimes these have money on their own. If not, I go into their bundle. But I always look for little things like this because that is a nice little artsy thing someone might be able to use. And I also got um, one of these, which has got some weird little dips in the rim. But yeah, uh, another Regency teacup. I've had one of these before. I think I sold it for about £4 as a spare and replacement. So I'd go up again for just another £4. They, they just trickle out. People smash these all the time. They are quite hard to come by every now and then. So yeah, £4. I've sold one before. i just do a nice relisting on that one. And that is everything. That was all I've got in the last car boot of the year. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and New Year. And I will see you all in the New Year. Uh, I believe the first car boot is on the 3rd of Ju June. 3rd of January. So there'll be another car boot haul there. I'll try and record like a yearly roundup uh, just before Christmas. Because I've got a lot to talk about. I've grown my business hugely this year. And I've got lots of improvements for next year. So I will see you all very soon. Stay safe and goodbye.